low riders and cops. Two groups that some may think don't go well together. Regardless, they are now teaming up to break down barriers. And new at 5 reporter Melissa Masiha shows us how one car is working to debunk stereotypes in two very different groups. Armed with a spraying gun, Oscar San Martin adds a special touch on what will be a decked out low rider. I amaze myself sometimes because, um, you know, you learn something new every time. The San Diego lowrider community regularly turns out pieces of auto art, but this is different. This was once this. Yes, an old San Diego police car donated to the lowrider community. It, it, it bridges the gap between lowriders and cops. You know. Everything was donated from thousands of dollars of supplies to the labor, all to improve outreach in southeast San Diego. The car, once completed, will be used in various parades and other police events. The community sees two sides of us, actually one side. We come there, we give a ticket, and we take them to jail. That's it. They don't see this side of it. They don't see that, you know, we do have community involvement. Removing stereotypes, not only for lowrider enthusiasts. Negative stigmas that we've had are usually gangbangers, drug dealers, criminals. But for all sides. Law enforcement is looked upon in a negative way as well as, as you know, lowriders. So we're both sort of in the same, in the same boat. The actual unveiling of the old police car isn't until May 1st, but this is the centerpiece, a piece of art that speaks for itself. It's the opportunity to be able to do something for the community, to give back to the community. I feel good that a lot of kids are going to see it, kids that do like doing art. Um, sometimes it might open up their eyes to the possibilities of being able to take it from one point to the next. The car's main colors will remain black and white. It's the first project of its kind and a small step to ease an oftentimes bumpy road. Melissa Masiha, 10 News. Older police cars are usually auctioned off, but Drew Ford purchased that car, then donated it to the San Diego Police Historical Association. The official unveiling, it takes place from 10 a.m. on May 1st at the Southeastern Division.